I'm Emily Rose. And I'm Dan Philgreen. Welcome to Shell Point today for Monday, April 15th. And we're coming to you for the very first time from our new studio in the beautiful new Shell Point Welcome Center. We have a number of beautiful sets in this studio and some bells and whistles that we're looking forward to you seeing in coming days. But for now, let's get this show started, Emily. That's right. We're getting back into the thick of things with a brand new show for your enjoyment today, including inviting CJ Gulata into our new studio for a brand new Connected Living segment. You know how difficult and perhaps even heartbreaking it can be to make decisions for others. Gary Keating is giving us a new golf tip to help out our short game. Tech Tip returns with a brand new face, helping to solve all of your technology problems. And today we're having a very unusual tech tip. Normally I wouldn't be in this chair, but I want to introduce you to somebody new here at Shell Point. Plus, as we enter a new era of Shell Point TV, we're taking a look back at the history of our little television station. But first, we're shattering the color barrier for our look back on this day in history. It was April 15th, 1947, when Jackie Robinson became the first African-American player in Major League Baseball as he took the field for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Robinson was the standout athlete at UCLA, where he became the first athlete to letter in four varsity sports. Following a brief stint in the U.S. Army, Robinson began his professional baseball career in the Negro American League. After only two seasons, Robinson was called up by Dodgers manager Branch Rickey. Despite the racial threats he received from both fans and opposing players, Jackie would win Rookie of the Year honors and two years later would become the National League's MVP and league batting champ. He would lead the Dodgers to six pennants and the 1955 World Series championship. Robinson's legacy stands tall to this day, with his number 42 being retired by every team in Major League Baseball. Be sure to secure your tickets for tomorrow's whimsical musical performance courtesy of the Chrysalis Chamber Players. This talented trio will be taking over the Grand Cypress Room at 7 p.m. Venture out as they combine the sounds of the flute, trumpet, and piano into a remarkable performance you won't soon forget. They will also bring in a selected collection of fellow musicians that will combine to manifest an innovative and one-of-a-kind concert. Tickets are still available and can be purchased at any concierge desk. Make sure you grab your seats, then head to the Woodlands Commons for this amazing performance from the Chrysalis Chamber Players. Also coming up tomorrow, it's the beginning of the week-long Easter sale over at the Community Thrift Store. Swing by the shop at Miners Plaza tomorrow where you can secure 30% off everything in the store. If you would rather hold out until Wednesday, you will be rewarded with 40% off everything between the walls. If your will is strong, then be sure to hold out until Thursday, where Erica is cutting the price tag in half and offering 50% off everything in the store. This is a spectacular three days of savings that you won't want to miss. If you have any questions regarding the Community Thrift Store's Easter sale, give the shop a call at 225-6529. You can find anything at the Community Thrift Store. That includes plenty of computer parts. However, staying safe online is a whole different ballgame. That's why Lynn Schneider recently sat with Chief Information Officer Brian Hines to rekindle our popular Tech Tips segment. 